Hi, this is Jacob with RemoveVirus.org, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to remove AV Security Suit from your computer on a Windows 7 based uh, system, and this also works the exact same on a Windows Vista. So let me go ahead and stop this program, and AV Security Suit is a virus, if you couldn't tell already, uh, it, it is a, a false application. So I'm going to go ahead and end this process. Don't pay too much attention to this real quick. Um, I'll dive in, in, in to more exactly what you need to do. Now basically, when you first log in, go ahead and reboot your computer. When you first log into Windows, as soon as you put in your password, is what you're going to want to do is hold down Control, Shift, Escape, all at the same time. And by doing that, you're going to bring up this guy right here. And that is called the Task Manager. When you bring up the Task Manager, you're going to see a number of processes running. The process you want to stop is going to end in tssd.exe. Now, everything before that is going to be... Uh, random and unique to your computer. Now in some cases the task manager is going to already be disabled for you. That's okay. Uh, something else you can do is boot into safe mode with networking. You have to be sure and select the with networking option. That way you're going to have internet access and can download the needed software tools uh, to ensure that your, your PC is, is going to be clean. So I'm going to go ahead and just end this process though just to stop this uh, from running so it doesn't do any, any more damage on my computer here. Now to boot into safe mode you'd have to turn your computer completely off and then just start pressing the F8 key um, pretty much every other second on boot and then you'll be able to select safe mode with networking. There's a safe mode and then a safe mode with networking. Be sure you select the one with networking. Uh, that way you do have internet access because that is important. You definitely want that so you can download the, the needed software tools to fully remove this. Now the next thing we're going to need to do is unhide our system files so we can actually browse down to where this uh, tssd.exe is. So go ahead and click the Windows Start button. Let's open up the control panel. And when you're, you know, let me put this back to default of the control panel. Basically when you're here, all you have to do is just start typing in hidden and it's going to show up right here for you. So go ahead and select that and we want to go to show hidden files and folders, hit apply or OK, it really doesn't matter. And you need to do that, that way we can actually show our hidden files and folders. So now I'm going to go to start, computer, C drive, users, the username, uh, this should be your username in that location, it might say owner or something along those lines. We're going to go under app data, local, and it has been reported, some people have seen it in local low. And while the file path may change, um, you're going to be downloading Spyware Doctor with antivirus anyways and running a full scan with that. Now, for it to Spyware Doctor with antivirus to remove anything, you would have to pay for the client. It's a really good client. If you don't have anything, get it. It's what we recommend. But uh, uh, um, irregardless, it's going to find the exact location for you, which is really nice. So we're going to go into local. And basically what you're looking for here is it's going to be a randomly named folder, but it's not going to make any sense. All these make sense. So we're going to browse down a little bit more. And we're going to notice this folder right here. It's really oddly named. So let me go ahead and open up this folder and see what's in there. And there it is. It says OPIX BAI TSSD. Now yours is going to be unique. It, the, the beginning name is going to be unique. So it's OPIX BAIT uh, SSD, basically. But uh, it should end in TSSD. Most likely yours does. It's just going to be some ch garbled junk folder is all it's going to be. So I'm going to right-click on this. Now, this is an important step. If you're in safe mode with networking, you should be able to just delete it. However, if you um, were in regular mode, you're unable to bring up the task manager or anything like that, uh, is what you'll want to do here is you're just going to want to go ahead and rename this folder or I should say this file. So just right click on it, rename, rename it anything you want and just go ahead and reboot your computer and then uh, upon reboot it should not auto start and you should be able to then delete it. Uh, and once again you just turn your computer off, turn it back on after you've renamed the folder and you should be able to delete it. So now it's not currently running under our processes so I am going to go ahead and delete it. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and back up now. I'm going to delete this folder too as well. Delete. Yes. And at this point in time, 
if you already have security software, I recommend you go ahead and run a scan. You should be able to, to bring up normal programs now and actually run them. And the next step we need to do, however, is to reset our Internet Explorer. So let me go ahead and bring that up real quick for you. Now, chances are you're unable to go to any website. And the reason why is because a proxy setting has been turned on. So I'm going to Tools, Internet Options. Well, you could just go over to Advanced and hit the Reset button and reset it all. Otherwise, something else you can do is under Connections, Land Settings. Right here, we want to uncheck these boxes. Basically, uh, the virus put in a proxy server for you to use, which is not what you want because it's just going to block your connections going out. So uh, now that that's been done, I should be able to now go to removevirus.org. and actually download um, the security software and we also are creating a dedicated site for this video and let me type that in here because it probably will help you guys out too and here's the other site it's going to be remove av security suit com and this website is probably only going to be up for a month or two before we take it down and we just uh, are creating a dedicated site for this threat just because of how many people are getting infected with it so now that we reset our uh, uh, the the proxy settings on Internet Explorer. We now need to investigate our Windows host file, and not everybody will have the host file infected. But if you notice, uh, if you do a Google search and all of a sudden you're redirected somewhere else, chances are your uh, host file is infected. So we need to reset that. We do have tools on our website uh, that you can use to just automatically reset it. Otherwise, let's go ahead and show you manually how to navigate to this folder. So we're going to go to the C drive. We're going under Windows, System 32, Drivers, ECT, and we're going to have our host file right there. So if I right click on it, or if I just double click on it to open it, we're going to be asked what we want to open it with and we're just going to go ahead and select notepad and this is what the file should look like you should have nothing underneath this at all so if you do have anything underneath this you can just remove uh, just backspace it all delete it all and uh, just hit save file save and you most likely would have to reboot your computer or so what you can do is just rename this so hosts rename it hosts old something like that and then upon net, then after you reboot your computer uh, turn it off turn it back on um, it should automatically regenerate a new host file for you and you should be good there okay so we just ran a scan with uh, Spire Doctor with antivirus a client we do recommend you use I would like to uh, also give a shout out to onlinecomputerrepair.org it's a uh, remote computer repair place that we have been recommending for years again that's going to be onlinecomputerrepair.org it's a very good company based here in the US and they have uh, very experienced technicians that can remove this virus for you if you end up finding it's too hard for you and this is why it's so important to run a full scan with Spyro Doctor with antivirus because in addition to the files that we already deleted we found uh, another fake ill oh, that's a recycling bin that one's an old one actually but we did find uh, quite a few other deals from uh, the, the Trojan that it gave out to us in addition and those will not be in our guide because they'll be unique to you like the Trojan Z-Bot you may or may not have it so our guide just focuses purely on AV security suit otherwise it'd go indefinitely on for forever so you'll definitely want to run the scan with it and we're going to go ahead and show you um, how to remove the the registry items that need to be removed now we're only going to cover one of them and uh, just to show you how to remove it um, otherwise refer to our, our written guide on all the other traces that you have to find and remove manually however at this point in time if you did uh, uh, make a purchase of Spire Doctor with antivirus all you'd have to do is hit fix check and you'd be good to go it's a good client it's a good way to ensure you never get infected again too so we're gonna go ahead and pop down here start we're gonna open up the registry by reg edit open that up 
and we want to go to HKEY Local Machine Software AV32. So, HKEY Local Machine, then AV Suit, and there may be a uh, hundred or so entries over on the right. You can just delete the AV Suit folder. Just ensure you're deleting the right folder in the right location. And we'll go ahead and just delete this other key.